Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, Fantasy Gaming here, and today I am going to talk about the upcoming uh, double mana and EXP event. So, um, for those that like don't care that much about th this event, you should, because um, if especially if you're free to play or if you're a newer player that you know, if you're new, you probably didn't pay that much unless you got the money. Wait, then you would need to be doing this. Or right, either way, um, this event is really important if you're a free-to-play player because um, you can really, you know, stack your mana and um, EXP during this time if you take advantage of every all the times that the event are is going on. So right now I'm just using my um, friend's Lucian to fought, level some fodders in um, this water level. The reason why I run this level is because uh, I'm not really quite sure how strong my Lucian is, I mean my friend's Lucian is. Um, I don't like actually take the time to remember exactly how strong they are. But um, as a general rule, if you have a lot of level 40 friends, um, what you should do is you should go to this level, like these levels have a lot of water monsters. Um, this level has a lot of wind monsters and this level has a lot of fire monsters or this level for fire monsters depending on how strong your friends reps are um, so for wind, wind reps I would run um, high denny and then for fire reps I would run tamer um, and then for water reps I'd run um, rofagus um, basically I use the elemental advantage to try to you know carry myself through that level or have them carry themselves through that through that level while I put in some fodders to basically you know level up um, you should be a, a good a few tricks you should do during the double exp time is to you know if you're if you're not that strong and you have some friends who are level 30 something or um, 40 something and they have a six star rep you should save your friends reps for during this time and then basically you just follow the general rule this this level you farm your um, water reps and then fire reps and wind reps because like if you go bottom down here like you do these two levels they're all they're all water and um, you should be able to get through get through them pretty easily if they're ruined properly you know but if they're I mean I mean if they're your friends reps and um, they're like level 30 something or near level 40 um, they should have them rune you know decently well you don't need like super crazy runes to be able to solo these three levels so during this that time if you're um, if you're not that strong yourself you should save up your friends reps and use them during the double exp time to farm up exp on hell mode in these three levels um, hell mode gives a lot more exp than normal mode because um, actually there's no because there's just hell mode gives more a lot more exp than the normal mode um, it's like n not based on the how much energy you use but based on the time it takes to actually you know do one level um, hell mode is a lot more efficient because you can you know basically far more fodders in a short amount of time Plus, during these, this event, you only have one hour to do so. So, um, you should really take advantage of the, the time and farm hell mode you know, as much as possible, as fast as you can, using your friend's reps. For the mana part of the um, event, what you should do is, um, you should try to farm Feyman and above in normal mode. If you really, if you're really, really strong and you can, you have like really good reps, then um, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be watching this video. But uh, the reason for that is because on normal mode, the mana gain is not that different from in hell, for hell mode, and um, it's a lot harder to do fame in hell than it is to do, you know, these three levels on, on hell mode. Because the, the freaking Inagamis, they hit really, really hard, you know. And then if you go above, like, Succubus, they, 
these things like these things hurt really hard too and they don't they don't allow to, you to heal um so what you would want to do is say i mean most people like if you're in mid game you should have a famen farmer um because famen's the for those that don't know famen's the best level to actually farm up well not the best but um a lot of people can do this one easily um, the best level is obviously the last one because you know it costs the same amount of energy but it gives more exp and mana um what you should do is you should use this time to um basically you you put in your fame and farmer your whoever it is it should probably be a water water person um like it doesn't even have to be six star just five star you should be able to farm this level pretty easily I'm gonna put in my Soha and then bring three fodders. Um, during the during the double mana stone time, you you only get double mana off the creep drops. So like if you sell your runes or whatever, it doesn't give you double mana for that. Um, for those out that, that don't know, and the mana gain for normal mode and hell mode is not that different. And since you're gonna be if you're if you're saving up your friend's reps to do to run hell mode um, during double exp time, you won't have enough reps to run you know, to run normal mode uh, during the double mana time. I mean to run hell mode during the double mana time. So um, I would recommend you do normal mode during the double mana time on Feynman or above if you can. And for during hell mode, you, I mean during the double uh, during, not during hell mode during the double exp time you should be running hell mode with um, as many of your friends reps as possible and yeah that that should get you the most mana and exp um, during the event um, yeah um, if you have any suggestions on like what what other strategies or whatever you can use like do during this time to get um, to get more exp or mana um, please share it below and um yeah i hope i hope this helps someone thanks for watching happy summoning and peace